All right, this is completing the square when you have to deal with fractions. So uh, first, don't panic. We'll get through this. So step one, move the minus 2 to the other side by adding 2 to both sides. It stays the same, no difference. So now we're going to complete the square, add it here, and add it here. Still b over 2 squared. b over 2 squared. Okay. Well, when I square a fraction, don't forget you square the top and the bottom, so you get 25 over 4. And that's a scary fraction, right? It'll be alright, though. 25 over 4. 25 over 4. So, I have my shortcut still right here, so I know how this side factors. Nothing even to think about. X plus 5 over 2 squared. Alright. And now we got to add over here some fractions. Common denominator would be 4, so multiply top and bottom by 4. You get 8 over 4 plus 25 over 4 is 33 over 4. And so now we take the square root of both sides here. Square root, square root. And I get x plus 5 over 2. Now, this is going to be plus or minus. We know that. So when I take the square root, just like when I square, I take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. Well, what's the square root of 4? 2. So I get the square root of 33 over 2. So that goes here. And that's great that that happens because I'm about to bring this 5 over 2 over by subtracting it on both sides. And they already have common denominator, so this is going to be easy. I get negative 5 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 33. Sorry about that. Over 2. And they have a common denominator, so I can just put them together. And that is completing the square with fractions.